Berlin and um, we need a bit of time away together so I've booked him a surprise trip to Berlin for this weekend as a sort of thank you for being a lovely fella and for working so hard with his Joe Wicks he's looking so fabulous it's it's a treat it's a thank you from me to him for being a rather fabulous husband and for working so hard at being sober it's not easy it's the summer yeah, everyone's out drinking rosé and hanging out in pubs and bars and he really like this morning he was we were talking about it and it's such a struggle i mean imagine it no barbecue does he ever kick back drink a beer you know have a couple of glasses of wine on saturday night it's hard it's hard so I thought I'm going to book this trip and we're just going to go away for a couple of days and just have loads of fun. Non-alcoholic fun. I'll have to try really hard not to have a glass of wine. For fuck's sake, I'm standing here waiting to surprise him. He's been hours in that toilet. How annoying are men when they go to the toilet? What are they doing there? Mark! What are you doing? Huh? I know you're in the loo, but what are you doing? Paper. Reading a paper. A well, don't. I've got something to show you. Reading the paper. I wonder if I've been waiting half a bloody hour. Why do they go to the toilet? Do, I mean, we've got, we've got these. Why would you not sit there and read the paper? Why would you go to a stinky loo? Oh, God, it's beautiful out here. Why don't I allow myself to just sit out here? I'm not really doing anything constructive. I might as well just come out here and sit in the garden. How many times have I said that in vlogs and Instagram stories? It's so good doing social media because you actually hear how much you repeat yourself. Whereas in life, we just repeat ourselves, don't we, without hearing it. Mark! What are you doing? I know, but I'm waiting to show you something. Oh, for God's sake, I'm losing the will now. Oh well, I'll come back to you in about an hour. I'm not even lying. It is at least 12 minutes later. I really want to show him what I've done. <laughs> I'm seriously considering cancelling the whole bloody trip. I'm not kidding. I'm still waiting. Ma, it's not even funny now. It's not even funny now. I'm going to break in. Hey. I'm going to break in. Honey. Oh, my God. I can't even sit on the loo in here. <coughs> no, you can't. Bloody hell. Come on, I'm excited. Uh, God, this hey. place is a tip. I'm excited. Got you a present. God almighty, I was just We've been waiting for you for ages. Oh, well, everyone's Hang on. been waiting. How many papers did you take in just, there? Just the Times. I was just reading about just the it's conspiracy theory or not. Oh. Bloody hell. Come here. That was the most stressful. I made Sorry. you a cake. You made me a cake? Yeah. Oh. Cake. No, sit there. Oh god, I'd love a cake. Hi Maddie. I'm good. Apparently. What are you doing, baby? What are you up to? Say hello to the subs. Hi, I've just got Daddy a surprise. You can see what I got him. Come round this side. 
You look lovely. Thank you. She look lovely. She does look beautiful. Come around this side when so when Daddy lovely. opens the computer. She looks so. I had beautiful. to watch The Walking Dead when Nanny died. She was rubbish. Oh, you should have told me. I would have come. No, I didn't want to interrupt you. Okay, open up the computer. Yeah. Cake. Hope it's cake. What's that? It's booked. What? Ah, are you and him going? Oh, wow. Where are we going? Spin it up. Berlin. Berlin. That's so cool. That's really odd. Do you know what the last thing I did in Berlin was? What? I danced with Courtney Love. Oh, oh right, wow. I've just bought you the present. No, but it's kind of strange. This is the worst it? present it's giving. It's not at all, it's Damn. lovely. I've That's... wanted to go for young. It's but nice, what? isn't it? So I thought it's a nice weekend in Berlin. Oh, last time I was there, I was there with Courtney Love. No, well, I'll tell you what, why don't you go back with bloody Courtney Love? Oh, that's so, so cool. Nice. That's oh, wow, so that's cool. so cool now. Oh, that is it? so cool. Oh, I'm really excited. Look at it. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, it's a little apartment. How long are we going for? Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. Oh, cool. Are you filming yeah. me or you? You. She wasn't a good dancer. She was all over the place. <laughs> so I'm sure you'll dance better. They also, I also ended up in, typically, the longest bar in Europe. I mean, it's like the a... Longest. Yeah, it's a mile long. So we'll have to go and have a look at so, that. Well, it's not a mile long, but it's very, no, it's very only because we're going, it's not a mile long. What do you mean? So what other good places are there? God, there I went years ago. I went to the Berlin Film Festival. It's where I interviewed Woody Harrelson, but didn't interview Woody Harrelson. But what else will we do there? It's crazy. Museums and art galleries. Yeah, museums, art galleries. Well, it looks like you could just... Food. A place to Schnauzer. Go. Can't the you can check out Checkpoint Charlie. I know the place yeah, is gorgeous, like Checkpoint that. Charlie. But I mean, when I went, East Berlin hadn't been developed. So it was kind of like the Shoreditch area yeah. before it was. I want to go see the wall. But yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what we should go and see is some of the weird cabaret. They do weird cabaret yeah. there and stuff Let's like that. Let's do everything. Crazy shit. Oh. Well, we'll start booking some things I'm to so do. I'm so excited. I never let's thought I'd get things, to go. Let's book things Again. to do before we get there. So we've got nice hotel, uh, restaurants and all that sort of okay, stuff. Okay, babe, yeah, let's, let's do everything. it. Let's do it. So next weekend, Kiki and Maddie looking after Nanny Dyer. Yeah. Because it's never the other way around. <laughs> Nanny Dyer. face You've got to look after <laughs> Nanny Dyer. <laughs> it's never the other way around. Oh, that's really sweet. Thanks. Ach, finicked. Oh, God, he's going to start no. That, that was a genuine, genuine surprise. I'm genuinely surprised. I'm genuinely blown away. I love city breaks. I'm much more of a city break man than I am a go and lie on a beach and do all that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's so exciting. I might just try and remember when I danced with Courtney, love. Da, 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 da. Hang on a minute. I haven't heard from Joe in ages and I've just been editing the vlog that's going out tonight in which I say he's ghosting me. Raise to your ear to play. Hello, Mark. Loving the updates, mate. I just got back from Antigua. I've had a great honeymoon, so I'm back now in full swing. I'm going to get back on the YouTube, get doing some daily content, and keep everyone up active, keep moving. But, mate, you've done really well in that cycle too. I mean, that's brilliant results off, off, off the chest and the waist as well. I mean, serious inches off the waist, mate. We lost five inches. Um, awesome, mate. And just forgetting about them numbers, just your lifestyle, your motivation, your energy, all the other things that are more positive. So... Hopefully you're just smashing life and, and feeling better about yourself. So um, keep it up, mate, and I look forward to seeing your graduation and beyond. Oh, that's really nice. How does that make you feel? That you're a bit emotional. That makes me feel so... I do you're feel a, a bit, bit emotional. Well, no, here's the thing, though. I felt a bit emotional on Friday yeah, about it. Did. Because I realised how Hard. unhappy I was about my body. I know. And I really was You've unhappy. You've got a lovely body. Well, no, and it's amazing, because I've looked at the photos before and after. You'll have seen them by now, subs, and... I don't know why, it just kind I'm of... a wee bit barrelly. I was a wee bit barrelly, but also I just think... I don't know, he's, what he, the structure of what he's done has really worked with my brain. Yeah. And how, I, right how I operate, and it really has. And, and I do feel emotional about it, actually. I feel like I've really changed things and I feel more confident, which is remarkable. It's not. It is. I we feel forget, younger. We forget how much of our confidence we lose when we let ourselves go I mean, a bit. I mean, I was getting, I was doing things like getting happening. into the car. As I'd get into the car, I'd be aware of my body. I would yeah. be wanting to almost curl up and hide from thinking myself. Thinking too much. Thinking so much about how one is just walking into a room. Whereas actually now, with the physicality I've got now, and I'm only two thirds of the way through, if I walk into a room, I don't actually walk into a room feeling like I need to hide myself. I That's feel like good. I used to feel when I was in my 20s, which was like, let's get. In fact, I might start drinking again. No, 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 I'm joking. That's why when we go to Berlin, you can take some nice things. Because usually when we go away, you get all worried about what you're going to wear. I know, and I take loads of nice shirts. Be really good this... Oh, God, don't show me. Oh, thanks, Joe. Really appreciate it.
cars, so I don't know. Oh! Oh, do you remember I did that job for Healthy Mummy? Oh, yeah. They were so lovely, those people. From Australia? Yeah. They sent me a present. Ooh. This is somebody I worked with, a is brand I worked with. Is there chocolate? With. Don't think so. I think it's all about losing weight, being a healthy mummy. Ooh. Thank you. Oh, that's from Rianne, the founder. Such a lovely woman. Ooh. Oh, they sent me all the gear. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Supercharged blend of real food. Organic herbs. Oh my God. Mm, super greens. Protein ball mix. Brownie bites mix. T-shirts. Oh my oh. God. Everything. Book. Workout gear. Oh, wow. The Busy Mum's Guide to Weight Loss. Oh, oh look, she's given me three of those. Yeah. Let's do a little competition. Somebody can win one of these. Body Sculpting Lotion. And what's this? Australian Pink Clay. Well, Rihanna has the best skin I've ever seen, so I'm going to try this for sure. Well, he's got a little brush. Clay mask. Mm -hmm. You can have some of this, babe. Mm -hmm. Should we do a clay mask together? Look. Yeah. Yeah. Just paint it on. Yeah. And what else? Metabolism support. Oh, we can have some of that. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Love it. Yeah. Oh, oh, thanks, guys. Oh. I love getting gifted. Good night, subs. We just watched a very confusing show. Bloodlines. And it's confused as it's one o'clock in the morning almost. No, really confused. And then Nettie's leaving her phone downstairs for the first time, which might mean that she'll cuddle me rather than just listening so and being on her phone now, all the time. Every night, I'm making this promise because my friend Donna said it's the most amazing feeling when you leave your phone downstairs for the night. This is the beginning of me tackling my phone addiction. We could talk, babe. Babe, please stop saying things like that. It's one o'clock in the morning. What do you want to talk about? Been talking, we've been together all day. What do you want to talk about? Nice things. Like what? Like your bloody eyebrows need oh to be God, trimmed. God, why are you... Mark, you look like Dennis Healy. Oh. Come here, you well, can't. That, that didn't go the way I was hoping, did Come it? Here. Why don't you leave your phone down here as well? Close your eyes. Can you see what you're doing? Yeah. No, you can't. Oh, my God. Mark, this is so bad. I know, but baby... I mean, you look like an old man. You're taking... No, they have to come off. You're poking my eye out. Keep your eyes closed. Babe. Just think, we're going to Berlin this weekend. And you're going to... You can't go with these sorts of eyebrows. Why not? <laughs> Babe, I don't want them overcut. Let the girls do it. You can't see anything. Darling, you can't leave it one by one. No, but you don't know what you're doing. You're just randomly chopping. They're so long. Oh, I mean, that's not normal. When have those been growing? <laughs> I'm sure we did this recently. Wow. I wonder if your hair on your head grows that quickly. That's better. God, that was a shock when I saw those. <laughs> they were coming out like this. Is this the kind of attention I'm now going to get because you haven't got your phone? Going to cut things on my face, <laughs> pick spots, <laughs> dig your finger in my night, ear. Night, sub. Night. Ooh. Good night. I'm actually going to leave. So we've just said good night, but I'm actually making the decision to leave my phone down here too. I think it does both the world of good, and I think it might just help things in the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? You better not keep that in. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Look, she's on her phone. Oh my God, I'm just unplugging it. Uh, oh anyway, night night, guys. Good morning, subs. It's Sunday. Morning. Oh my God. Oh I, my I, God, I, what have we become? We left our phones downstairs. This is the first time I've picked up the phone and actually looked at it. And, uh, God, that was refreshing. Now, for a lot of people, they might think, what the hell are they going on about? Yeah, we but said we'd leave the phones you downstairs. You know how we've, be, we've been really honest about being phone addicts? Because we want to do something about our children being phone addicts. And we think, unless we're doing something, we've got no voice. Because every time we say something, what do they say to us? Well, you two You're are worse. worse. But you Can't... say... You say that to all of us too, babe. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, but you're right. So, anyway... This Nobody is... is going to be saying to anybody that they're worse. We all want to reduce 
of phone But I felt use. freer going I to did. bed. I felt freer going to bed. I felt like, I mean, it was too late to read, so I took my book up and I just couldn't read it. It was so, I so late. Minutes, but it was so late. And, but the idea of doing that a bit earlier in the evening, I mean, I think the, the danger is, is that, yeah, we do that, but we end up going to bed so late so that it doesn't really have any impact on how long we're with our phones. No, but whatever happens, when I go to bed, I look at my phone. I have I a last scroll through Instagram, yeah. have a last look on WhatsApp groups, because I've got so many WhatsApp groups. Anything that I've missed on a WhatsApp group. And then, and then that wakes up your brain. It definitely does. Definitely uh, do you does. realise that you buck the trend when it comes to talking about all your WhatsApp groups? You're Nadia Swaller off the telly. You have a lot of friendships. Did you know that in the papers yesterday it said that the average number of friendships that a Briton has is 2.6? number of friends well, but the I would, average i have a lot of people that i know and like a lot but i but my friends are very few but you have more than 2.6 yeah but not that many more no i know but i, I sometimes i think people chase a number of friends and then judge themselves oh, badly I don't, I don't, no. I, yeah but I mean, you, don't, you don't you don't need to yeah, but you don't need to because you've got lots of people <laughs> wanting to be your friend i think it's different when you've got lots of people wanting to be your friend but i thought it was quite an encouraging statistic yeah. it made me feel less of a of a what's the word not hermit but less ostracised from society that yeah. I didn't have 32 friends I that think, I could go I out for a great big booze up with. 2.6, and this is in the papers yesterday, it was an official statistic yeah. that it's rare to have more than five. It's something like 16% of the population. The majority have 2.6, and it's something like 30% have less than that. But, you know, I'm not a social media basher. We both like social media, but I do think that's one thing that Instagram really does, really can make people feel shit about. Because people Only. might meet their friends once in a year and then there'll all be all the photos, you know, and people dinnering together and partying yeah. together. I think you can really make people feel like they've got a substandard life. Well, but a lot of that is just those moments of people showing the best. That's why I try and show photos of not, not, of not looking particularly, uh, you know, uh, what's the word, popular, happy, or, or, or just or looking great. Because so actually you're like right. Side fucker. Well, yeah, because Instagram can often just look like I go to it and I look at the people and I think, oh, God, it's just a shop window into the best bits of everyone's life. Yeah. Where are my best bits? Well, you can't say we do that on our social media. We, are, we show a lot of yeah. rubbish. Yeah, I know. Anyway, let's but, get on. But, 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 just to finish off with the, the phone, yeah, I really... Fu and the other thing is, when I wake up in the morning, I will often think about the last thing I've looked at on my phone and I didn't do that this morning. I don't oh. know... But I don't That's know if anybody... I'd love to know, do you do that? Do you go to bed and just scoot through everything? And sometimes I'll be start looking at emails that I didn't look at all day. I think, what the fuck am I doing looking at an email at midnight? So that is going to be the new me. To my friend Donna, thank you for saying that. I mean, she didn't say it like you should be doing. She just always goes, oh, I, was, I never take my phone upstairs. It makes me feel so much better. All of anxiety drips away. Same with us. I haven't woken up with anxiety in my chest. You never used to be as anxious before your phone. I'm telling you, you didn't. You used to wake up, you used to sleep better, you used to sleep longer. You're chuck your way. So funny, we woke up this morning, so funny this morning, we woke up and I went, Mark, oh, 25 past nine, you went, oh my God, we're going to be playing catch up yeah, all day. No, no, I'd always feel if you Sunday. wake up past 9am, you are if forever Sunday. in catch up. Yesterday, we got to 4pm far too quickly. Far too bloody quickly. Far and too I've quickly. Got, I've got to go out early tomorrow and I want to make full use of the day. I love you. Try it, subs. Especially if you're worrying about your kids' phone use, just do it yourself first and then you can get the little fuckers. You might need to beat that. <sighs> Jesus. Bloody hell. God, it's so Get in hot. Mood. Get in there, baby. <sighs> We've done it. Let's step out here into air. Oh my God, guys. I did Mark's workout with him. Jesus. Bloody hell. God, it's so Get in hot. Mood. Get in there, baby. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. That's powered us on for the rest of the Sunday. Yeah, yeah. It's hard work, hard work. I love my message oh, from Joe last night. That's really Joe gave me such on. a lovely message. Yeah. And now it means we can have scrambled egg and bacon. Yeah. Can we go out and have breakfast? Yeah. Shall we? Let's go out and have scrambled egg Let's and bacon it. and coffee. Let's do it. Do you want to come with us, subs? Go on. First, we're going to do a stretch, though. Yeah. This is the new thing we're adding in because we've been avoiding stretching, and that's bad. 
as you may have noticed, I haven't mentioned yoga for a long time, even though I'm paying a monthly fee, I haven't been going. So I'm going to start with stretch today and get back to yoga hopefully tomorrow. <sighs> so we've come for a nice quiet sedate coffee at the uh, Our little favourite coffee place and breakfast. And listen, I'll take you over and show you. Like a rainforest clearance. <laughs> then have a nice quiet, contemplative moment over a coffee, just chilling and hanging and just having a nice time. There's the kitchen. Mm. Extra, extra. Yeah. We love our little plant. Avocado, marmite and scrambled eggs. Why is it so orange? Good eggs, I Good eggs. I've sat, I've sat here, that was absolutely delicious. I have smashed avocado. I love smashed. So it is linked to my anchor, isn't it? Smashed avocado with feta and feeds on sourdough. But anyway, I've sat here whilst we've been eating that, then eating a bit of scrambled egg for protein, looking at one thing throughout it. I'm going to just show you a cutaway of that one thing that oh, yeah. I've been looking at. All the way throughout this, I've been distracted. We've been talking about homeschooling, we've been talking about work, we've been talking about social media, we've been talking about everything. And the all whole the time while, has been this. this has been haunting the whole conversation. <laughs> To sit in there. It's really squidgy. Looking at me <laughs> and just saying, you know you want me. It's so aggressive. Come and get me. It's impressive aggressive. Look at those just sitting there. It's just sitting there. Passive <laughs> aggressive. No one else is having me. But just imagine that workout we did, which is so tough. Yeah. That wouldn't cover those calories. Exactly. Get me out of here now. <laughs> this is an unbelievable this is an unbelievable development in our lives we put the phone, I turn my phone we put the phones off downstairs Nadia has been more chilled this morning than you've been almost since we got married you've put down your phone and your personality's transformed mm. it's amazing you know what else has helped though that I cleared up everywhere last night so I haven't got that nagging at me I should be going back should be clearing up places to tip Every night when you're editing, I'm going to clear up the house from top to bottom so it's always tidy. Who believes me? I'm going to try. But it's I really remarkable. want to sort out the laundry room so badly. But I know, I, and I was looking at it, and the difficulty with that is that even by removing everything out of there and pushing it back to the very extremities, it's going to just look empty. Yeah, but we want it to look no, empty. No, 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 I, want, I know, we want it to look room. empty, but also you do want to get some nice stuff to put in there. But here's the thing, when was the last time we lay on the grass in the park? Never. It wasn't the grass that tickled, tickled your ass. It, it was, was my, my finger. It wasn't the grass that it tickled, tickled your ass. It, it was, was my, my finger. Magic moments. Like two star cross so, trip to Sainsbury's done. It's getting hot again. It's getting hot out there. So take off all your clothes. Hot, so hot. I've got to take all my clothes off. Um, this, is, this is possibly the best. So, uh, yeah, just done Sainsbury's on a Sunday because we're going to make Victoria Sponge. Yes, we're going to add something to the food playlist. Um, what was I going to say? Is anyone else a bit of a... Oh, where have I put them? Is anyone else a bit of a vouchers freak? I love nectar vouchers. I love it when you get five times your nectar vouchers. And I love it that, you know, in about 96 years' time, you go to buy, I don't know, a newspaper or a bag of crisps and you say, redeem my nectar points, and you get it for free. I love that. You don't feel like you get much for free in life. And let's face it, you never get anything for free. I always used to say to the girls, when they say you get 25% free on a Ribena carton, whatever happened to Ribena cartons? Um, when, you, when they used to say 25% free, all I'd say was, you're getting 25% more of what you should be getting in the first place. Do you agree? Anyway, I love the way capitalism works. It constantly makes us feel like we're getting a bargain when we're not getting a bargain. Isn't that the concept behind sales? Sales, apparently the margins people make, companies make and sales, is not that much smaller than the margins they make when they don't have sales because they mark things up so extraordinarily in the first place. Anyway, enough of this. 
trying to unpeel the foundations and, st and cornerstones of our society. I've just been to Sainsbury's and I've got a shitload of nectar points and I feel smug. That's how I feel. I've done my exercise. I had a nice breakfast with the missus. We rolled around on the grass. To get, well, we didn't roll around on the grass. We lay on the grass together. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and now I've been to Sainsbury's. And I love going to Sainsbury's, as you know. It's my favourite trip of the day. Could we get more Sunday if we tried? I'm making the week's granola for me and Mark. I actually eat the body coach granola now as well because it's so bloody delicious. You've seen me cook it a couple of times, regular vlog. And Mark is what are you doing i'm kind of spring cleaning these shelves because this is like our art book area but there are lots of piles of books that i've got everywhere and i just want to get them all off and all on the walls so with all the stuff that we have to clear up with all the stuff all the rooms that are a tip all the piles of junk that we don't know what to do with like here like here mark has done an absolute classic Teddy Sawala. This could be my mother and father's relationship revisited. There he is. Maddie, Maddie's leaving. Maddie's leaving. We want to get her on the vlog because she looks so gorgeous. You look beautiful. You look so cool. You look like something out of Beetlejuice, but really hip. Don't get that, take that the wrong way. You don't look like you've got a bald head. Do you, know you haven't Beetlejuice got. Beetlejuice musicals coming out. I know, I don't know how I feel about that. It's like Big the Musicals coming with Tom Hanks film. How, is, how tall you are. Sense. You've become a woman in the last week. What's going no, it's on? These. It's these. Hmm. Freddie. See the size of my Show them the size of my shoes. I'm coming down for the shoes. They're so cool. Do that thing that he I does know, in but Beetlejuice. I'm going to the, uh, like a pub in West Norwood. Do you go into a pub in West Norwood? Since when? Family pub. Oh, nice. Uh, do the Beetlejuice thing when his face goes. Do you I remember can't, that? Can I? Oh, all right, okay. Bye. All right, bye Don't bye. get flattened like that character in Beetlejuice has been run over by a car. I'll try not to. Okay, be careful. Yeah, bye. bye. Greta Thunberg is everywhere. Isn't she? Greta Thunberg. She should be. So she should be. Not an astonishing girl. But she's, she's sort of demonstrating to us that the way everyone's going to have to travel not too, too long from now is by train. Train everywhere. But isn't train driven by electricity, isn't electricity driven by car? Hmm? Isn't all form of transportation, isn't even electricity driven by power, a power grid that's driven by coal? I don't know. Where does electricity come from? I don't from, know. Babe? I just want to do my granola. I don't know. I'm too tired for an intense conversation about what fuel drives a train. But if you don't care, then you're saying goodbye No, but darling, I don't want to at this minute. <laughs> so what have we got here? Oh my God, which one's which? Oh, this is your granola. Why are they two different ones? Yeah. Because oh. they get measured in different oh, amounts. Because this is your Joe Wicks one. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, really pretty. In the sun. I wish it didn't away. have to have apricots. I'm not mad keen on apricots. What do you mean? They don't have to make my stomach go bonkers. I don't love them, but they are really good for you. They've got beta carotene in. Do you like, really good for you. Do you like wet apricots? Soft apricots, yeah. How are we feeling today, babe? I think you feel really tired. I know what you mean. It's a real, yeah. I am a really hard I am a tired. And I don't want to go to work tomorrow because I don't usually do Mondays. And now I've got Sunday items because I've got to go into work. Where do I go and every damn thing? That's how my brain feels. Do you want to know how my brain feels? No. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Sorry, yes. No, it's all right. Don't worry about it. No, no, no it's fine. No, no, no. As long as we got across how your brain feels. Oh my feels. God, the thing is the truth came out by accident. I feel like this. <laughs> Mark! This is what hey, happens if I ever lay down. It's disgusting. Do you like it when dogs lick you? I don't know if I do. Oh, I have to use my hand as a shield because let's face it, they lick their nuns, don't they? Oh, I feel so Sunday afternightus. I too don't want to have to grapple with the week. The constant highs and lows, the frustrations, 
the constant thoughts that this is a great idea and this might do something, and then the horrible, painful realisation it's a load of old shit. I think this is quite boring, this vlog. This vlog is boring. Boring. You're not going to roll on me, are you? <gasps> Guys! Jesus. Oh my god! Get me! Get uh, me! Uh, <laughs> idiot! Oh my face! Why didn't you catch me? My nose felt particularly protuberant Why didn't then. Catch me! Catch you! I was filming! Oh my god, oh you just my god, broke my well. nose! I can't move in that world. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Nobody could be this tired of that. There'd be something being something terribly wrong with them. Don't even go there. Oh my god, how am I going to stand up? I can't get from one knee. <laughs> you must be able to. Feet. Try. Uh, oh my god, I heard your leg crack. Oh my god. I feel so fucking old. Babe, if you combine our ages. There it is, I've just stepped outside. There's no air. Who took all the air? Where's all the air gone? I've... It's airless. It's airless. This isn't quite green fingered hell, but I just thought I'd uh, get this for Nads because it's so beautiful. It's so, so, so beautiful. Mm. Should you cut a rose off? I can't tell you if you should. Maybe I should just cut a little bunch of these off. The sun. Whoa. I used to spend hours searching for shots where you just film people in the sun. Here you go, sweetie. Oh, that's gorgeous. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. You're going to put it in some water. Yeah. There you go. You don't, you can't even get that music right. Today has been, I have felt exhausted from the get go today. Um, so, uh, the only time you vaguely felt alright was for half an hour. Lying on the grass. Yeah, it's been downhill. It's been downhill ever since. Um, I had to re-listen to Joe Wicks' message to lift me up in the middle of the day. Wow. It was the only little moment of joy or sort of, you know. Uh, Nadia's off to bed. I'm going to quickly watch an American horror story. Well, not quickly. I'll watch it for as long as it's on. Yeah, I'm gonna, we can't people. watch it any quicker than it is. So I'm going to watch Lady Gaga savage more people with her remarkable teeth. Are you my little Lady Gaga? Could you be my Lady Nana? Gaga Nana. Lady Nana. Gaga Nana. <laughs> Go -go, no, no. So say goodnight to our subs, it's the end in, of the weekend vlog. Good night. Good night, subs. Good night. It's a bit child's play like it's been Good like night, snubs. Snipes. Snubs. Snubs. Maybe that's what we should call you guys. Snubs. snubs. Good, good night, snubs. snubs.